Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Weavers, Iron Smelters and Factory Owners Set 1. Question number 1. In which state did Batola was not woven? Option A. Surat. Option B. Ahmedabad. Option C. Patna. Option D. Sabramati. The correct answer is Option D. Sabramati. Patola was woven in Surat, Ahmedabad, and Patan. Highly valued in Indonesia, it became part of the local weaving tradition there. Question number 2. How the finely woven cloth did from India was referred? Option A. Chintz. Option B. Muslin. Option C. Calico. Option D. Long cloth. The correct answer is Option B. Muslin. European traders first encountered fine cotton cloth from India carried by Arab merchants in Mosul in present-day Iraq. So they refer to all finely woven textiles as muslin a word that acquired white currency. Question number 3. Which type of cloth considers chintz, kossies, khassa, bandana? Option A. Silk cloth. Option B. Jute cloth. Option C. Cotton colored cloth. Option D. Printed cotton cloth. The correct answer is Option D. Printed cotton cloth. The pieces ordered in bulk were printed cotton cloths called chins, kossies, or khasa, and bandana. Question number 4. What were the sum of the communities that specialized in weaving? Option A. Tanti weavers of Bengal. Option B. Julhasar Momin weavers of North India. Option C. Sail and Kaikola Yondi Vangs of South India. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option D. All of these. The Tanti weavers of Bengal. The Julhasar Momin weavers of North India. Sail and Kaikola Yondi Vangs of South India are some of the communities famous for weaving. Question number 5. Who was Chipigas? Option A. Weavers. Option B. Cotton growers. Option C. Dyers. Option D. Block printers. The correct answer is. Option D. Block printers. For printed cloths the weavers needed the help of specialist block printers known as chipigas. Handloom weaving and the occupations associated with it provided livelihood for millions of Indians. Question number 6. When did the first cotton mill in India was set up as a spinning mill in Bombay? Option A. 1852. Option B. 1854. Option C. 1853. Option D. 1855. The correct answer is. Option B. 1854. The first cotton mill in India was set up as a spinning mill in Bombay in 1854. From the early 19th century, Bombay had grown as an important port for the export of raw cotton from India to England and China. Question number 7. In which area Agarias were specialized in? Option A. Wearing. Option B. Iron smelting. Option C. Mine working. Option D. Dyeing cloth. The correct answer is. Option B. Iron smelting. Agarias, a community living in central India, was specialized in iron smelting. Question number 8. What is the meaning of Aurang? Option A. Huts. Option B. Village settlements. Option C. Warehouse and workshop. Option D. Warehouse.
The correct answer is option C. Warehouse and workshop. Aurang is a Persian word for warehouse and a place where goods are collected before being sold. Also refers to a workshop. Question number 9. What are the important centers of Jamdani weaving in India? Option A. Dhaka. Dhaka. Option B. Murshidabad. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Both A and B. Jamdani weave. Early 20th century Jamdani's fine muslin on which decorative motifs are woven on the loom, typically in grey and white. Question number 10. Which places is well known for bandana designs? Option A. Rajasthan. Option B. Gujarat. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Both A and B. The word bandana now refers to any brightly colored and printed scarf for the neck or head. Bandana patterns were mostly produced in Rajasthan and Gujarat. Question number 11. Mention the industries which were crucial for the Industrial Revolution in England. Option A. Textiles. Option B. Steel. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. The two industries which were crucial for the Industrial Revolution in England were textiles and iron and steel. Question number 12. What made Britain the foremost industrial nation in the 19th century? Option A. Cotton textile. Option B. Indigo. Option C. Trading. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Cotton textile. Merchandise production of cotton textiles made Britain the foremost industrial nation in the 19th century. Question number 13. Why Britain was referred to as the workshop of the world? Option A. Selling of indigo. Option B. Trading of iron. Option C. Buying of cotton. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Trading of iron. Britain was referred to as the workshop of the world as its iron and steel industries started growing from 1850s and gained success. So many started buying and selling iron from Britain in greater quantities and thus it was given the title workshop of world. Question number 14. What kind of clothes had a large market in Europe? Option A. Chins. Option B. Silk textiles. Option C. Muslin. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. Chins, silk textiles, muslin, jamdani and calico were the kind of clothes that had a large market in Europe. Question number 15. What is jamdani? Option A. Fine muslin. Option B. Fine cotton. Option C. Fine silk. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Fine muslin. Jamdani's fine muslin on which decorative motifs are woven on the loom, typically in grey and white. Often a mixture of cotton and gold thread was used. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.